Hi. Let me talk about disability justice. We actually want to talk that we need a shift from the disability rights approach to an inclusive disability justice movement, especially in our country, our culture, and it is very necessary, much necessary. Disability rights approach works within the ableist social structure, which may not ensure inclusivity in real sense. We require legislative framework that promises equality and anti-discrimination that in turn acknowledges the multiple identities of people with disabilities. Don't you think this would be a positive first step? We all have recently experienced the pandemic COVID-19 and even the ongoing pandemic, the insight provided by people on the front lines of medical policies, they should be revisited. Particular focus is needed to give a thought on health-based discrimination and social discrimination, social ostracization of at-risk people with autoimmune and other precarious health issues. Ten principles of disability justice they are intersectionality. Audrey Lord once said, we do not live single issues life. We experience ableism, patriarchy, gender, sexual orientation, color. All these are involved in creating identities. We all have areas where we feel privileged and also areas in where we feel oppressed. So this principle brings our lived experience on the surface level. The second principle is leadership of those most impacted. We are led by those who most know these systems. By centering the leadership of those most impacted, we keep ourselves grounded in real world problems and find creative strategies for resistance. The third principle of disability justice is anti-capitalist politic. In an economy that sees land and humans as components of profits, we are anti-capitalist by the nature of having non-conforming body or minds. Our worth is not dependent on what and how much we can produce. Next is commitment to cross-movement organizing. Disability justice can only grow into its full potential as a movement by aligning itself with other movements that are engaged in justice and liberation. Like social justice, racial justice, reproductive justice, queer and trans liberation, environmental justice and all. Then comes recognizing wholeness. People have inherent worth outside the commodity relations and capitalist notions of productivity. Each person is full of history and life experiences we all do have. We all have our own thoughts, sensations, emotions, sexual fantasies, perceptions and quirks. Next principle is sustainability. We pace ourselves individually and collectively to be sustained long term. Our embodied experiences guide us towards ongoing justice and liberation. We value the teachings of our bodies and experiences and use them as critical guide and reference point to help us move away from urgency and into a deep, slow, transformative, unstoppable wave of justice and liberation. The next principle is commitment to cross-disability solidarity. We honor the insights and participation of all our community members, knowing that isolation undermines collective liberation. We value and honor the insights and participation of all our community members, even and especially those who are most often left out of political conversations. We are building a movement that breaks into isolation between people with physical impairments, people who are sick or chronically ill, psych survivors and people with mental health disabilities, neurodiverse people, people with intellectual or developmental disabilities, deaf people, blind, 
people with environmental injuries and chemical sensitivities and all others who experience ableism and isolation that undermines our collective liberation. Then comes interdependence. We work to meet each other's needs as we build towards liberation without always reaching for state solutions which inevitably extend state control further into our lives and collective access. We find and create and explore ways of doing things that go beyond able-bodied and neurotypical norms. Access needs aren't shameful. We all function differently depending on context and environment. Access needs can be articulated depending upon the individual's needs or desires and capacity of the group. We as people can share responsibility of our access needs and we can ask for our access needs to be met without hesitation, without compromising with our integrity. We can balance autonomy while being in community. We can be unafraid of our vulnerabilities knowing our strengths. Collective liberations, no body, no mind can be left behind. Only moving together can we accomplish the revolution we require. We move together as people with mixed abilities, multiracial, multigendered, mixed class across the sexual spectrum with a vision that leaves no one behind. So these are the 10 principles of disability justice.